People, when they picture me, they picture a set of ideals and someone who doesn't have the same beliefs as me wouldn't necessarily date me. So that's a blessing. Being trans, people just see such an easy target. Some guy would try to get my phone number and when we start chatting, I disclose that I'm trans woman. He just like freeze and walk away. Being discrossed as trans, I didn't realize it's full of negativity. People definitely like to ask interesting questions. I've been on hormones, I've had top surgery, and that only leaves one more question, and they definitely do ask it. <laughs> it's something that I've come to accept, though. I'm happy the way I am. The question about dating is more complicated. You have to connect, not just on the appearance, but rather to get to know the person more. It was just by chance. I saw somebody, but I didn't know. It was like, you know, no big deal. I like the person for who they are. So when my dad told me, I actually wasn't surprised at all because my dad is full of surprises. He seems to be really happy. I think it's really cool. <laughs> It'd be nice to know that there's a place where you know that someone's going to be accepting of you and you don't have to be afraid. I'm just excited for the future, for people like me. Are you sure you're Laura? Names aren't important. <laughs> okay. This isn't going to work out. Thank you for the five-hour date. Oh, actually... Uh, it's only halfway done. What? Yeah, this is where we start our scavenger hunt. This isn't going to work out. Dating, Dating sucks. sucks. Unless you're in Provo, Rexburg, or at a David Archuleta concert, it is impossible to find other single LDS people. You looking for LSD people? No, LDS people. We'll find you something. You've already dated everyone in the ward, except the ward historian, because no one dates the ward historian. You can always try dating someone from work, but they're all about to retire. This is why single Mormons are forced to use alternative solutions, like Tinder. Too bad most dating apps are like public restrooms. Tons of people use them. But only the weird ones talk to you there. Pretty much, if you're LDS and not one of the two hot girls at Institute, there's no hope. But there is a new hope. Like EFY for adults? It's an app called Mutual. Mutual is like if Tinder got baptized. And did its home teaching. And stayed active. It's classy, unlike Tinder. Love Tinder. Exactly. So whether you're too busy to meet single LDS people or just can't find them, Mutual is for you. So put down the ice cream and pick up Mutual. Oh, actually, I'm married. Pretty bitch. Mutual is so simple to use, you'll be meeting people faster than you can say- Grandbabies! Mom, what are you doing here? Grandbabies, oh! Basically, swipe up if you're interested, down if you're not, and swipe right or left to see more pictures. You can also tap on the screen to learn more about the person and see if you have mutual friends. It's easier than graduating from BYU-Idaho. So even if you're shy. Or want to be the first one to initiate the conversation. Mutual makes it easy to connect. It's like going to a church dance, but less awkward, better music, and nothing at all like a church dance. The best part is Mutual will straight up delete any creeps that don't keep it classy. So ladies, let's dust off that list we made when we were my maids, because we about to get some options up in here. This is why I'm single. It's a place to meet quality people with mutual interests. And mutual values. Simply put, Mormons use Mutual. Are we supposed to get together now? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, swipe down on it. Yeah, I, I know. Some things you prefer to do alone, but some experiences were meant to be shared with another person. Introducing Swoonbox, the world's best event-based dating app. You can match with people based on common interests and events, so skip the awkward first date and get straight to the good stuff. Thanks to integrations with Ticket Network and Ticketmaster, you and a date can buy tickets for incredible prices in-app. Or you can post your existing tickets to an event and find someone to go with. 
Match with great people who share your interest in music, sports, or other exciting events. At Swoonbox, we're making the awkward first date obsolete. And to do that, we need your help. Our beta had enormous success in the New York City metropolitan area. Now to expand, we need the funds to put on the finishing touches, which is where you come in. Swoonbox, the world's best event-based dating app, because some experiences are better to get. In the world of dating, a health challenge can be a complicated thing to navigate. It comes with its own bundle of awkward and sometimes terrifying moments. And unfortunately for that reason, a lot of people with health challenges tend to lean away from the whole dating thing. But here at Lemonade, we're making it a whole lot easier to lean in. Our belief is that for most people, there just isn't an obvious starting point. And most dating apps are teeming with douchebags and creeps. And it seems like there's an awesome dating app out there for every niche, except for people with health challenges. Until now. At Lemonade, we're making it easier to find your someone without making it a big deal to talk about your health. Because it really shouldn't be. Your health condition is a part of you, but does not define you. And of course, disclosing your health information on the app is completely optional. Although most people do. We're changing the face of dating for singles who struggle with chronic illness and other physical and mental disabilities. Trying to think about the right way to tell your partner about your health or worrying about how they'll react will be a thing of the past. Here you get to skip the uncomfortable part and go right to the fun stuff. Going on a date with all your cards on the table takes away so much pressure and it really ensures that you can truly be yourself with all your defenses down. And Lemonade is on a mission to bring that experience to everyone. We want to make sure that you love you first. You should feel comfortable with who you are without feeling like you have to apologize for your health. Ever. Lemonade is not just a dating app. It's a way to explore who you really are outside of your conditions and get to know yourself. We may call ourselves a dating app, but our mission goes way beyond that. Lemonade hit the App Store and Google Play Store about a month ago. Although the app is fairly new, we're well on our way of gaining a wonderful following. However, we need to reach a lot more. There are millions out there who identify with having a health challenge and that are single. Our goal is to get every single one of them on Lemonade. So you're ready to meet other singles and maybe find that special someone. But it seems like there's never good opportunities to connect. If only there was a way to casually meet and make a real connection anytime and anywhere. Meet Hitch Dating. With Hitch, you'll be meeting and connecting with other singles right from the palm of your hand. Simply check in to any location and you'll be matched with others to check in to the same place. Hitch will even recommend other singles nearby. You can anonymously like or pass on Hitch suggestions. Find a good match? Chat privately inside Hitch before taking the plunge. It's really that easy. Hitch actually creates opportunities for singles to connect. Get started today with the free mobile dating app that effortlessly connects you to other singles. Hitch Dating, where singles check in.